complaint on this vehicle is that it, it idles too low, but someone has already replaced the idle air control valve, and they stated that when they hooked it back up, it idled very high, so they had to disconnect it. Let's plug it up and see just how high it'll idle. Code 121 stored for TP voltage range. TP standing for throttle position sensor. All right, looking at data stream, we're looking at the TP sensor value of 3.84 volts, which is very high for a vehicle that is not running in a closed throttle. And that closed throttle, a typical Ford, is going to be right about one volt. Now I'm at the throttle position sensor and I'm testing the voltage on the black wire. The black wire voltage to ground, the other lead is hooked to battery negative, is showing 0 0.025. It's below 0 0.05, which means the ground is good. Another way to check it is to move the ground from battery negative to battery positive. In doing that, it now shows 11.8 three or four volts, but notice the negative, it shows a negative voltage, which means we have the terminals hooked up backwards. But seeing how this is an auto ranging meter, it doesn't matter. Now I switch the test probe to the orange wire of the sensor, and we can see that we have a normal five volt reference of 5.02, which is perfectly fine. So, so far we know that our reference voltage and our ground are good. Now I've hooked to the green wire, which is the actual wire that sends the signal to the computer stating where the throttle position is at. It is currently reading 3.93 or 4 at a closed throttle, which again is bad. It should be about 1 volt. So we have accurately diagnosed a faulty throttle position sensor. And we're going to start by removing the top throttle body cover. If they haven't been changed, it's just got two 7mm headed screws. Take that out of the way, put our screws somewhere where they're safe. Now we have to switch to taking the hose assembly off, which is 8mm or 5 16 Two more back here. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take this throttle cable off and it just snaps in place. But be careful because snap is the operative word. And we're going to disconnect the IAC connector. Now all that's out of the way. Now we've got to get this bracket off the other side. And we've got to come right in here and get this nut taken loose, hopefully. Should let this bracket move. Now that's out of the way, somewhat. Get this hose pulled loose. take this crispy tree connector out and just get it all the way out of the way. Now we're taking the four throttle body bolts loose. There's two top, two bottom. And what we're going to attempt to do, hopefully, is not have to break the cooling system loose. Sometimes you've got enough room, sometimes you don't. And that's one. That's 
two. Hopefully four. Phillips head screws out and they're usually pretty tight. Sometimes if they don't want to come right off you might need to soak them with something and use a pair of vice grips on the heads to try and get them out. wasn't very good. I'll just try to keep from dropping the screw like we did the screwdriver. Wiggles off from there. Now I set the TPS in place and I started both screws. I gently open the, TP the throttle plate to make sure the TPS moves smoothly and hold it in place and tighten the screws down. 